All right, hello, welcome back to Stuff on the Nexus. Now we're solving problems, not just talking to people. No, wait, I'll deal with that later. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty. It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Okay. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Oh, okay, that's just something I can do constantly. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! To the witness! Who should be up here? Cassidy Shaw, I'm Ryder. <coughs> the Milk and Murder case. Uh. I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked wide at Nilkin and shouted, "No!" Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Oh, okay. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He so the body was never examined? <laughs> Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. But I can go back. So I'm probably going to go back. Oh, he's not up there yet. Right. Something I could help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye. <clears throat> Alright, there's one more circle-y thing, which I think 
It's probably just strike stuff. Yeah. Might as well take a look. Strike. Those ones can go. Considering I can get better missions on my phone, but whatever. Away you go, missions that are basically pathetic in comparison to the silver and gold missions that I could have done. So I'll, I'll probably be recording some StarCraft co-op mission stuff soon since a new commander came out. Of course I gotta pay for the new commander, but that's just how things go. Zara Kellis. <coughs> I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni tool. Funny, Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Uh, am I in the right spot to... yes. Raj, you there? Yes. That How way. Go? Is it... is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sound Mode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI, so... What's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, it yeah. becomes a problem He's later. A point. So, what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, you will... <coughs> Thanks. 
Uh, so yeah, I'll have to deal with that once I reset my skills on the Tempest. Which I, if I recall, I think that's the ship name. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that's not plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. See, it must happen after Mass Effect 2. Or at least during Mass Printed Effect 2, books. they must have left. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's... Sam? <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed... What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal accounts. <clears throat> Several of them are encrypted. Uh... Fine. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. And this one's about Liara. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom. Oh, she learns a lot. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tapero says he'll be fine, but <clears throat> he's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Uh, that log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable Okay, at least I don't have to listen to a whole ton of extra stuff. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni. Oh, that'll just all be all her research and stuff. Yeah, we're not going to listen to that. <laughs> Moving on! Far away! <sighs> Whoop, there's a box. I'll take that. <sighs> Back to operations. I think there are four parts to the Nexus. I think. It's difficult to remember. There might just be three. This file is useless. Let's check another. Yeah, 
And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera <laughs> files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. I do remember where he is. Proximity. Got it. I believe he's on the Hyperion. So I'm just going to go straight there. right we need to talk look not to be rude but I have work to do is that what sabotage is called these days work you're pretty arrogant for the new kid you don't even know what's been going on proof says you've been up to no good figures screw this screw all you hypocrites on this station you weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones mutiny we just wanted answers my sister is out there I don't even know if she's alive or I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... You'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave and you don't come back. I'll leave. Bye bye. No idea if we see him again. All right, where we got? Search for clothes. Investigate murder and go to ship. Okay, we go to ship. If I can remember how to get. Right, yeah, it'll be this way. Then we go to the area I haven't been to yet. Yeah, Cryo Bay. Operations docking. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> We used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. So yeah, once I get on my ship, that's probably all over cord for now. And there it is. They flying high. The Tempest. It's a nice ship. I don't think it has any guns though. Vetra, Vetra Nix, 
Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Cool. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. Yeah, we're good You're to coming go. With us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Then let's get out of yeah. here. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Silver tongue Turian girl. Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. So I'll probably reset my skills first or later. Sensors, exploration gear, plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. Which you it's never really use. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Stealth is good. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Okay. So if I feel good enough, I'll probably do StarCraft co-op missions tomorrow. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. We call this the Although research that's room. probably you already happened. Research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Okay. I sell strike team. Okay, so I can't actually do any research stuff yet. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Okay. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys, useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat Seven. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We can craft our way through, turn the junk we find into an advantage. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's right, that's what I can choose to make. Then all the weapons I have... Don't use a whole lot. If I recall, I used alien tech. The alien tech stuff that I can't currently do anything with. Which 
should be. Oh wait, no, come, should come under armor. Yeah, this here we go. The Helios stuff, real good stuff. Need to go down. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Skill reset. Yes. All right. Okay, this is going to take a while. First things first. Biotics. Uh, AOE. Duration. Now we want AOE. Shields. It's detonation combo. Damage versus shields. Boom! <laughs> huh. AOE and force. Done. Uh, damage, recharge, combo, debuff, damage, weapon bonus, melee, force. Increase. Well, that's after. Increase power damage. No, that'll probably be better. Uh, let's increase damage. Increase combo and weapon stuff after use. Alright, that increases shield stuff. Max shields, health and shield recharge delay reduction, shield regeneration. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, reduce weapon weight, improve speed while your shields are active. Deplete shields to end. Powers that deplete shields to activate, shield cost reduced. Increase max shield strength level. Nah. When mechanism the restores shields upon reaching low health. Restore shields after an enemy is killed by Bugger also affects squad mates. Done. No. Oh, I should have gone with that. Fuck. Fuck. That's gonna do all the changes. Radius. Shield. Horizon. Damage. Detonation. Warrior. Ah. Uh, regen. That one. Yeah, let's go with the save. Alright. Yeah. Just in case that happens again. Alright. Lance. Damage. Against heads, another weak points or anti shields. Yeah, let's go with shields. It's no longer has a recharge time, but consumes shields. Go with that. Singularity. Uh, radius. Recharge and exploding. Right, I want throw damage. Sends float duration and length of targets are primed for detonation. Right, yeah, that's pull. Let's go with recharge. Combo and double. Now, yeah, we'll go with double. Yeah, pulls the one that was in that video. Slowly by enemies. Right. All right, let's get tech. Auxil. Whoops, shit. Weapon. 
Nope. Okay, weapon carry capacity. Increased combat detonation priming for guns, melee attacks, powers, and constructs for attacks that don't prime instantly. Right. Because I'll eventually I'll swap that for the unknown, there's no point in putting points there just yet. Although I'll probably end up going through all this again once I get there. Anti-armor. Well, my bionics is already pretty anti-shield, so... Detonation for com... And anti-synthetic. We'll go with detonators. Stuff ongoing effects. Additional damage from heat, cold, and electricity. Increased damage after using a tech. Well, I've already got that with bionics, but I might throw that in for tech as well. Yeah. Team support. Squad power, tech construct. Power. Improve all shield restoration and defensive effects. Increase damage from tech constructs and squad mate powers. Nah, we'll buff my team's damage. Nah, fuck the revival. Damage resistance. All right. Uh, increased damage resistance for each conscious. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Improve health regeneration. Opinion. Sounds like I'll be using a tech power. Right. So I guess that'd count for ammo and stuff that I use. Consumables. Well, I guess I can come back to that at any time. So, energy drain. Effectiveness. Also, just always, yeah, the target is primed. Target priming. Stand and see if against shields. Initial drain effect or restores the shields of nearby allies near the user. Increase both standard damage and damage against... Bon damage bonus against shields and synthetic enemies. Done. Right. I can't remember if I put anything else in. I kind of remember invasion. Alright, combat. I just remember putting it into. while well, evading. Hover. Increase meter damage and radius while jumping. Uh, reducing damage while hovering. Increase melee damage bonus for each and it melee hit or melee kill ends after 20 seconds. Hover. Yeah, assault rifles. Spare ammo. Yeah, we'll go with spare ammo. Reload. Enemies hit by air, take increased damage from all sorts by 2% per assault rifle hit. Increase headshot and weak point damage with assault rifles in addition to proving aim. Oh man. Increased damage from assault rifles. Oh, crits. Nah. We'll go with that debt defense. And then I recall using a sniper. We we'll reduce the weight. Reload. Free rate of fire stability and really tough fire to Killing an enemy with a sniper or damage and force. Right. Combat. Fitness. Increase the effect of all consumables. Improve health and health regen. Thermal clip size. Thermal clip and all power cells. Weapon clip. Well, I only use two weapons. Improve damage resistance and remove to shield regen. Delay while in cover. Low health damage. Nope. 
cover the defense. Right. Trip mine. Out of them on clip capacity and boost weapon firing rates. Also increases damage. So I'll probably go with turbo charge. Uh, I think I'll put points into invasion because it's a debuff so against big enemies that'd be useful near the target location done enemy debuff now as long as it spreads to more distance duration 15 seconds yeah Affected enemies do less weapon damage. The damage is in your way. Done. Low health detonation. Uh, let's put some points into turbo charge. Recharge in duration. Duration. Improve weapon stability and accuracy when turbocharge is active. Increase weapon damage. Create a fire thermal clip size. Let's vastly improve thermal clip size. Well, rate of fire clip size. What is clip size? Nope, we'll go with rate of fire. Alright, I might as well put the rest of the points into this. Yeah, we'll go with that. Five. Oh, I won't have enough for the final one. Oh well. Increase the radius of all tech powers that affect in the area. Yeah, needs six points. So power recharge time rebate. Oh, we can. Uh, they're fine. Okay, now I gotta deal with this stuff. Uh, how do I put them into his again? Now I gotta remember how to actually equip powers. Skills. Do I just... How do I equip a skill again? Ah, there we go. Alright, so, yeah. First I'll set the biotic stuff, so... Whoop, singularity here. Throw there. Lance there. Alright, now put it to favorites. I'll put it there. Okay, now I need to do an engineer one. So, I'll, oh, I've only got invasion and. Right, I don't have anything else because normally I'd have that in there. So I will definitely have to reset all my skills again when I'm done with this. Invasion. Energy drain. Then I guess I'll stick with... Actually, hold on. Duration. Recharge 22 seconds. Maybe I'll put that there. And I'll leave that open for when I get it. But what I'll do is I'll just put turbocharge in there. Because it buffs that kind of thing. Whoops. I still need to put tech there. And then I think it was... Vanguard? No. Sentinel? There we go. For those two. Uh, 
Oops, nope. Here we go. Right, singularity here. I'll put Lance here. And then I think I'll keep energy drain. That just weakens them. Yeah. I'll have it like that, because I like my singularity. And then that one's both a primer and a detonator, so it's useful. Alright, back, set. I'll put that one up there. Uh, and now I need one for Explorer. Damn it, I did it again. Right, so you, turbocharge, can go in the center. Yeah, I'll keep singularity and. Right, that doesn't do anything. Right. Yeah, singularity, turbocharge, and energy drain. I think that'll do well. Have they got any of their stuff? Whoops. Pretty much. Vetra. Come on. Well, she almost was. I guess I didn't use her much near the end. That's concussive. Additional damage over time. If it did enemies take extra damage. Okay, so one's a dot, the other one's just a debuff. Oh boy, I have barely used him at all. Direct damage. Grenade damage and force. Difference of damage. Uh, recharge. Anti shield damage anti armor because he has overload, so he doesn't need anti shield. And it be when in cover. Okay, I think that's fine. Right, so. That one's the half and half. Biotic. Okay, that's wrong. That's wrong. Game. Settings. These two need to be switched. Although, there's something else I need to do first. What? Why is it not on? Oh, because I swapped everything. Yeah, that's what I need to change. Settings, controls, key bindings. Right, three becomes four, four becomes three. Much better. Right. I think I'll go biotic. Back to biotic. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Wardrobe. Right. 
Oh, my custom tint didn't stay. Alright. Hey, hold on. Why is that only changing? Oh, come on. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah. This can be a bit more of a blue. Alright, that's that. So, give it a bit of purple. Dark purple. Yeah, that's better. Although it's probably not going to look right until I change over to my normal armor. Alright, that stays as it is. Right, I need to go over to where the armory is, which is up here if I recall. But I could be wrong, it's hard to remember. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship. But it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. <coughs> Being a Pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. <coughs> she performs out here. Uh. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Well, which one did I just pick? Yes, we have to be. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we've got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. And away we go. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Back to space. The Eos, then. Nope. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Yeah, not happening yet. I gotta put my good stuff on. First, my sword. Then my assault rifle. Called the Sweeper. And my N7 Valiant. It's been a while since I had that one. Alright, so that's the weapons I had. Now my armor. Over to the Helios thing. Uh, 
Is that the right helmet? I think so. <clears throat> Consumables. Cryo. Disrupt. Bonus damage to armor. Sure. Bonus damage to shields. Last for the next three clips. In the current gun. Incendiary ammo. Now I'll go with this. Deals moderate bonus damage. I don't know, last for the next three clips. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, if I recall, there should be an option for taking off the helmet. Off in game playing conversations. Good. Yeah, so unless it actually ne is needed to be on, it won't be on. Alright, hope people enjoyed. That's all I'm doing for now. See, I definitely won't be using my TV to monitor my recording. Because even now the frames are dropping. So, hope people enjoy. Later.